I'd been given official permission to report on the rhino horn trade in Vietnam, and I start by looking for the horn on traditional Chinese Medicine Street, the place I'm told to buy it in Hanoi. But the poster here warns that the trade is now illegal, and with my government minder looking on, I don't have much luck. Do you sell any rhino horn? Does anyone sell rhino horn products on the street? I'm told that I'm not going to be allowed to film much in Hanoi, so I have time on my hands, which my minder might have guessed is a dangerous situation to allow a journalist to find herself in. Slipping away that evening, I go shopping again, but with a hidden camera. And now the traders have no inhibitions. Like the one I'm directed to in the back of a tailor's shop. And how much are you charging? It's more expensive than gold because of the widely held belief in its medicinal power. I tell the trader I'm looking for a cancer cure for my husband. He tells me he has several of these horns in stock. They're from the Asian rhino, he says, which have been hunted out of existence in Vietnam. I make my excuses and leave, saying it's out of my price range, and I doubt whether it's worth the money. After all, biologists tell us that it's made of the same material as the human fingernail. Oh, you have this. This is the, um, the horn. When word gets around that I want to buy, I'm approached by another trader who offers me horn from Africa. How do you know? Yeah, someone came from South Africa to bring it back. He was particularly obliging, even coming up to my hotel room to show me how to grind it in a special bowl and then mix it with water or alcohol to drink. Most of the rhinos in the wild live in South Africa today, where more than a thousand were poached, killed for their horn last year, a 40% increase on the year before. Nonetheless, rhino hunting is permitted under strict rules. Fewer than 100 experienced hunters can apply for a permit every year to shoot just one rhino, and they're required to keep the horn intact as a trophy. The argument is that hunting encourages privately owned rhino parks and therefore adds to rhino numbers and contributes to the local economy. With no more rhino left in their own country, hundreds of Vietnamese hunters started applying for South African permits. By 2010, more Vietnamese applied to shoot a rhino than any other nationality. But many were selling the horns. Asian criminal gangs were charged with abusing the permit system. And in 2012, South Africa banned the Vietnamese from hunting there. Lúc đầu họ chỉ bắn vì vì sự tò mò. Sau đó là bắn có lẽ vì một chút tiền. I met Mr. Dung, a wealthy businessman, at night. He told me he joined a hunt in South Africa six years ago. He and his friends didn't know how to shoot. Mortally wounded, the rhino limped off. It took three days to find, ten kilometers away. Thì đến ngày thứ ba, thì họ phải thuê một chiếc máy bay trực thăng. Và khi tìm thấy xác con tê giác, thì chúng tôi đi theo chiếc xe. Tôi không cái cảm xúc thì nó không rõ ràng, bởi vì đó là lần đầu tiên. Lần đầu tiên thì mình nhìn thấy một con vật lớn. So he took a long time to die? Yeah, maybe, maybe too long time. Everything that Mr. Dung and his friends did up to then was perfectly legal. What they did next was not. How much money did the rhino horn make after it was cut up? Có lẽ là họ kiếm được khoảng độ 25 ngàn đô la sau khi cái sừng tê giác được cắt ra thành từng miếng. And who was it sold to? Uh, 
I'm warned, there's a lot of fake rhino horn around, and on my next unofficial shopping expedition, I ask for proof. This time, I say I'm looking for a hangover cure, and Mr. Wynne, who tells me he's a traditional medicine doctor, offers me a big slice of rhino horn and a new list of complaints that it can apparently cure. And how come you can sell it openly? Is it legal to sell rhino horn in Vietnam? He shows me hunting permits to shoot two rhinos. He took his wife with him. And there's a picture of his eight-year-old son standing beside a dead rhino. He shows me the import license for the horn, all approved by CITES. They said Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, oh, because it's a hunting trophy. Okay. Except that the rules of the convention, of which Vietnam is a signatory, clearly state that the hunting trophy, the horn, must be kept intact in possession of the hunter and not under any circumstances sold. A local campaigning group have transmitted shocking and graphic adverts on TV channels here. We've blurred this picture of a rhino still alive, with its horn and much of its face cut off. Không có người mua thì không có sự tàn sát. The government complained, saying they were too negative. So what is the government doing? Five weeks before coming here, I'd asked to speak to politicians whose job, I'd been told, is to stamp out the illegal trade. But when I got here, I was told that none of the people I wanted to talk to were available. I was told the topic is too sensitive. And anyway, five weeks just isn't enough time to get everything organized. I get the impression that the problem of the illegal trade in rhino horn here in Vietnam is not regarded as an urgent one. The only official I was allowed to talk to was a man responsible for getting the government to abide by the Convention on Trade in Endangered Species. Mr. Doe, thank you very much for agreeing yeah. to see me. Yeah, that's video. Can you see it, please? I put it to Mr. Doe that convention officials had asked Vietnam to introduce new laws to stop hunters selling their horns two years ago. In order to prepare any regulation or law, you cannot make it in one year. It, it takes time, you know. Why has it taken you so long? Yeah, we, we have did uh, draft our regulation already, but it's the, because the, now we've got the, to deal, to, to dealing with the EC, we need the international cooperation. But in London this week, the international community will be saying they're not doing enough. Procrastination is no longer an option, say the experts. The African rhino now faces extinction and Vietnam and other countries in Asia must take urgent action to put a stop to this bloody trade.